He says Aaron Rodgers is a diva. Once again, we welcome Rob Ninkovich, Kimberly Martin, and I see Jeff Saturday shaking his head. Why, Jeff? <laughs> Hey, listen, I, I would like to tell you that Ron Wolf is high, but, I, I, but, I, but I'm too frustrated to even have fun with this, right? Like, I, I don't even understand the mentality of what he's saying. Like, if you look at Russell Wilson, you're telling me he's a diva. He had no offensive line. He takes a beating on his body for two years, three years. He's making all these plays. He's had his name's in the MVP conversation almost year in and year out. And, and that's a diva because the team's not doing what he feels like it needs to do to go win. Aaron Rodgers, the guy just has an MVP season. After you move up to draft a quarterback for the first time to move up for an offensive player, I think in 10-plus years. Like, tell me what's diva about wanting to win. That's the part that frustrates me. These guys want to win games. They want to win championships. They understand what it takes to get it done. And it is a team It is a team mentality. I don't care if you're the GM, the head coach, the offensive coordinator. The, the quarterback deals with each and every one of those guys more than anyone else on the team. And they should because what you're asking them to do in today's NFL is completely different than what Ron Wolf is talking about. And I'll be honest, I don't think any of those guys have asked for anything that's out of the ordinary. If you went to work every day and felt like your employer wasn't giving you the best opportunity to win, I would sure hope you have enough guts to say, hey, this is what I can do to make us better. Now, they may not be able to do it. It may not be able to work out that way, but at least there's a conversation. When you trade up without telling your guy and don't expect it to upset him or get him frustrated, I don't, I don't know what player, I don't care what position you play. That, that's not diva. That's just having a stake in the game and caring about your organization and your team. You know, Jeff, I mean, you played with Peyton Manning all those years in Indianapolis, and he feels like a good parallel here. I mean, to what degree did he have, in your perception, some say over the things that were going on with the organization? Yeah, I mean, think about it, Green. They drafted Reggie Wayne after we had Marv. They drafted Dallas Clark in the first round at tight end. You don't think they asked him, hey, what do we need to make our offense better? And now, now did, did, he, did he go back and find Dallas Clark in the draft? You know, whatever that looked like, no. But but at the end of the day, he had enough say in the organization with Bill Polian, who's a Hall of Famer, to give him the ingredients to make it work. That's what it is. It's a team effort. They need to have it. Everybody needs to have, a, have an opinion or at least some say in it. That doesn't mean it always goes your way. But if you don't think Peyton Manning, for the 14 years I played with him, got some say in the way the organization was run, you've lost your mind. That goes to, to personnel, to play calling, you name it. But because when he's out there on Sunday and Monday, he's the one producing. Like, don't get it twisted. We need each and every guy, but everybody has to feel like they have a stake and some kind of, uh, some kind of ability to make change with the team. Kimberly, what did you hear there when Ron Wolf was talking? Listening to it again, Ron Wolf to me just sounded like old man yelling at the cloud, like, oh, these QBs just want to be more than QBs. But I'll be honest, his, his comments really ticked me off uh, because I've heard that sort of sentiment among some front office people that I've talked to. You know, when I played the game, we didn't care about who was drafted to take our spot or not. We just, we were happy to be there. And my thought is always like, okay, who cares? Like, really, who cares what the game used to be like for you? The game is completely different. We don't have leather helmets. Like, the game is different. And we want players to understand <laughs> that it's a business when their contracts are not uh, uh, held up, right? That they're not honored. But we get mad when players want to treat it like a business and have more ownership. Like, that's not right to me. What would you think, Rob Nikovich, as you heard all of this? You're one who's lived through this forever. What would you make of it? Mm -hmm. all, ki all kids these days, they're just so different than when they were back in the <laughs> olden days. You know, for me, I, 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 when I look at a quarterback, when I look at the quarterback position, are they treated differently? Yes, of course. Should they be treated differently? Uh, yes, of course, because they're the quarterbacks. They exactly. win or they lose you football games. They win or lose mm -hmm. games for you. So, you know, Aaron Rodgers, uh, Russell Wilson, these guys that are that are called divas. No, I don't, I don't think that they're divas at all. I think they just want to win. And at the end of the day, that's where we're all measured upon. Are we winning or are we losing? And they, especially Aaron Rodgers, he's sick of losing. He's sick of not being in Super Bowls. And <laughs> I played with the best quarterback of all time. Guess what? He had some say-so on what was going down. So it, just like any great quarterback, any competitor – 
they want to be put in the best possible position to win. Because at the end of the day, when they look back, somebody yeah, looks back sure. at their career, they're going to look at win, wins and losses. It's a game up until they want it to be a business and vice versa. Yep. And these days, the players are just saying, you know what? I'm going to have some say in making those mm -hmm. rules as well. Ninko, what do you think? Well, I think that they should because at the end of the day, like I said earlier, it's about winning. And, um, you know, look, I, was, I played in the, tra in the trenches. Jeff knows this. He was in the front of the trenches too playing center. D linemen and linebackers – Look at everybody else's divas. I mean, come on. If you catch the football, if you're throwing right. the football, if you're punting, if you're punting the football, if you're kicking the football, you're a diva. Come on now. I mean, put your hand in the dirt. Put your hand in the dirt and go wrestle a big man and see if you can, uh, you know, diva your way out of that one. That ain't going to happen. So, for me, right. it doesn't That's matter. Right. But, yeah, I understand. I understand, you know, that there's a, a will to want to win and uh, I don't have a problem with that. I don't have a problem if you want to go win football. That, that, that's the name of the game. Thank you for watching ESPN on YouTube. For live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN+. Plus.